Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this episode we're gonna see something special, to be honest I didn't expect too much from this pair and I had a very nice surprise. As always, if you know me by now, we're gonna start with the unboxing. You can pause the video every time you need. Here we can see some of my sizes. We don't find anything else in the box. We can see here both of them and we start as always with the left foot because we want to see if the quality is consistent. I have to say that this silhouette is very nice, I really like it. Some people will be mad now but I like it a bit better than the one from Ultra Boost. So also I was surprised because I've seen that the stack on them is equal with the one from Ultra Boost. And this midsole looks slimmer, so how? Well, inside I notice that the footbed is a bit higher, even though from outside you can tell that, but it's big inside. And it's big because it's a combination with the midsole and the insole, insole being here the superstar, and I will explain this in few minutes. We can see here the kind of sole that it has, it's made from rubber, nothing fancy, it's not as much as the Ultra Boost Exposite, this sole, so I like this thing, I hope they won't change it in the future, I don't like it when I see Exposite foam on the sole, that's a bad idea, you know, don't do it. This sole is okay, I wish it was a bit thicker, but it's not bad the way it is. About the midsole, we can see there are two kinds here, it's a combination with the boost on the heel and the bounce for the rest of the midsole. So what is the difference in between bounce and boost? Bounce is just a bit more rigid, but not very much, maybe with uh, closed eyes I won't be able to to tell which one is which, so they are very similar, very close. Here we can see the insole, well this insole is that good that I wish I could see it in all the models from Adidas. You have to try them and see how much big impact does this insole. It's thicker than others that we've seen in Ultra Boost and other models and that makes a big difference. Now I'm thinking if this one is the best that they have in Adidas or they are even better than these ones. I personally think that every model will benefit if you will have this kind of insole because the cushioning is changing completely and overall the comfort. Because guess what, this footbed is hard like a stone, exactly the same like in Ultra Boost 22 for example. So if the footbed is hard, how come they have good uh, comfort? Well, because of that insole. We can see here that around the ankle and the heel they have some padding. I like it, this kind of padding, although I'm not sure about the material. It doesn't look very long lasting. I cannot say if they will last enough, but the first impression, you know. We can see here the tongue, it does have a few padded panels as you can tell and they do make a good uh, difference in comparison with other models. We 
you can see here that in this model we don't find a cage like in ultra boost i do prefer this way i think it's better made to be honest and overall the silhouette is great i'm loving it i wish that in the future they will come with another model with a bit more cushioning or a bit more sole without changing too much this one i know that they have a um, supernova plus model right now that is 20 euros more than this one this one is 100 that one is 120 in dollars i think is 100 dollars and 120 dollars I believe that in the future this will be at least as popular as the Ultra Boost is and was. Here I'm checking the right foot. I didn't find any issues with either of them. In the shot again we can see the insole. What makes a big difference is that it's thicker than others and the shape really makes a huge difference. In the shot we can see inside, they breathe very well. I didn't have any issues with the heat while I was straining them. Here we have the size of the laces. The elasticity is very on point. I like them the way they are. They are very good for the price that they have. They are better than many others. Here we can see better this tongue it's wide enough i like it that because i have a bigger instep and because of this wide tongue i didn't have any issues so that was a good choice there i didn't say anything about the upper so it's time it's very breathable it has two layers of mesh it's not very elastic i didn't feel the need to be more elastic than this In this shot we can see the thickness, I think is the correct thickness, I wouldn't want to be more thinner than this because it won't last enough, so this one is good the way it is. I feel that if they want to have better cushioning in the future they should uh, get rid of this uh, footbed because this one is too hard for the feet so that is uh, a problem there. We can see here how is this heel, where is rigid in the center is is harder very stiff there we can see here the footprint of this uh, sole it has 30 centimeters or 11.81 inches the forefoot it has 10.8 centimeters or 4.25 inches and the heel has 8.7 centimeters or 3.42 inches here we can see the weight test. As you can tell, they are a bit more lighter than Adidas Ultra Boost, so this is a very good surprise again.
here I'm checking this insoles with my feet because I want to show you that they are true to size and this is the correct size for my feet this is 41 1 and 3rd and this one I had it in all the adidas that I tried so far so this is true to size I know that in Adidas uh, Spain they said you should go size up. I don't know who write that reviews, but I'm telling you this is the correct size. It's not needed. If you want to go size up, maybe only because, I don't know, you see in a colorway and you want it very much and they don't have it in your correct size. And you should go size up because that is the only size that is left. Here we can see better my instep and my arch the way they are from my experience these sneakers they aren't as narrow as ultra boost 22 for example so i like it that i didn't have any issues with these ones the width is very on point for me So having them on my feet, here came my surprise, you know, because when I check it, the missile with my thumb, I noticed that it's quite firm, to be honest. But with these insoles that they have, <laughs> that missile doesn't even matter, almost, you know. Those insoles are making huge difference in this case. The toe box is fine. You can see where are my uh, big toes. I still have left one inch, around one inch or two centimeters, more or less. So that is plenty of space for me. This bounce midsole is not really something that I'm crazy about, but one good thing is that it doesn't show wrinkles as other midsole do. So if you've seen there, no wrinkles, even though I made a lot of tests with them. The comfort, like I said, is perfect for me. The comfort. Only thing that is, is still missing is more cushioning. I like to have more cushioning in my sneakers. Other thing that in the future I would like to see change it is maybe a gusseted tongue because this tongue could go left and right very easily. I didn't have these issues because I didn't try them enough but I'm sure that if you are running with them that thing could happen. Here we can see some on shots from a lower angle because I want to show you the cushioning a bit better. This way you will see it very easily and the profile of them. Here I'm checking these midsoles. As you know, the boost material is great, but it's great the one which is older from 2020. From 2021 and 22 had been more rigid and I didn't like it. Here I cannot tell that they have plenty of cushioning. They don't have it. But because of those insoles, they aren't too bad. So this could have been a more negative video, but because of those insoles, that was the escape of Adidas in this case. So this boost is very similar with the one from these sneakers and it's not as soft as the one from Predator for Ultra Boost Predator for example. That one is much better than this one unfortunately. I wish it was here the same but 
they are 100 euros you know or dollars so i think it came the time for pros and cons for pros i like the upper the sole the laces the tongue more or less and the insoles they are great what i don't like too much the midsole can be improved because it doesn't have enough cushioning the footbed also is hard like a rock change it do something with that and this will be it because they don't have too many cons for the price for 100 euros or dollars they are just amazing sincerely they are better than many others ultra boost for example even ultra boost 22 for me they are not as good as these ones and those they are two times the price so <laughs> and many when they will try these ones they will say the same i'm sure of that they look great, they feel good, you know, in your feet. The comfort is superior to, to the Ultra Boost 22, in my opinion. So, I don't want to hype them, but I think they are very good buy. Very good value for money. So, I do recommend them as my final thoughts. I do recommend them to everyone if they want to try them. I think you will have a good experience with these ones. I will end here this video thank you very much for watching this episode see you next time if you have any questions please let me know don't forget to subscribe because it's very important to me and take care of you